Welcome to another episode of Taryn's Triathlon Time. So in this episode, um, I'm gonna just sort of clarify. So I am about two weeks out, two weeks from tomorrow actually, is um, the Ironman World Championships in Kona, Hawaii. Um, so that's exciting and slightly frightening that that's actually approaching quickly. Um, this week was a pretty awesome week of training, I have to say. Um, I had an epic track workout on Sunday, which I'm pretty thrilled that I actually survived. It was one of those where I wasn't sure if that was gonna happen, but I did, and that was pretty cool. Um, I mentioned a little bit about that in my blog this week, and that's another thing. Um, what I do every Tuesday is I write uh, a blog every Tuesday and publish it and put it on my website and also um, send it out via email through MailChimp, so like a newsletter. Uh, format so if you want to subscribe to that every Tuesday um, you can go to my website and um, it'll just a little pop-up thing and you'll sign up there and subscribe and then it'll come to your email address and you'll confirm it and every Tuesday a fun little treat from this one will be waiting for you um, I'm doing it uh, really just I mean talk about triathlon stuff of course but also just life and you know what's going on um, but this week, as far as training goes, uh, it was pretty great. It was pretty good. Um, last night, remember last Thursday, I mentioned I had that treadmill workout that just kind of crumbled me. It was, uh, it was not great. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those where I felt like I did when I was like a freshman in high school. I first started running cross country. And you just sort of have no idea what your body's gonna feel like in certain ways and when it's running, it just you just have no idea. And last week when I did that run, I kind of felt like I had crossed that threshold again in training where it was a place where I hadn't really been before. And um, it just kind of freaked me out and brought me to my knees and I stopped. But cut to this week, last night, I did it. Boom. It was awesome. It was actually like a super fun run. Um, it was really fun. It was just, it was just great. I felt like a runner again and had my little like treadmill vortex again and just, it was awesome. Completed the run and it was great. Um, on top of a, 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 an interesting day of training. Uh, fun thing about Kona is, and triathlon in general, is um, we use bicycles. That's the second leg of the, of the day. And I have a pretty sweet rig. I have a diamond brilliant um, named Simone. And she got that name because, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Paul Simon, the amazing singer, but um, my favorite song of his is Diamonds in the Soles of Her Shoes from his album, Graceland. So I figured since my bike is a diamond, Paul Simon, Simone. Nice. Well, Simone is on her way to Hawaii right now. Uh, she is on a boat, I think, I hope, headed that way in, in one piece. Uh, I had grand plans this whole year that I would finally figure out how to take her apart, put her back together again, and all that good stuff, and I could bring her with me, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But that never really happened this year. I never really took the time, or made the time, or had the time, or whatever, to learn how to do that. And I figured this was not the race to try that for the first time. So I am using Tribike Transport again, and she's going there in one piece. Uh, the kind of downfall about that is, um, as I mentioned before, the race is two weeks away, and she's gone. So I have a bike. I have my bike, my beautiful Trek Equinox that I've had since November of 2009. And I've ridden a million miles in and done a bunch of Ironmans in, and it's a great bike. And I use it for my trainer these days, um, but now I've been using it outside. And yesterday, I had a bit of an adventure with her. Um, after taking her to the bike shop and getting checked out, uh, I got a flat. Actually, brand new tire in the back wheel, and I got a flat, and unfortunately, I had that foam stuff with me, but that did not work at all. And I completely forgot tubes, so I went to be like, fix the tube, and didn't have any because it's not my normal bike, and I don't have my little pouch on there, like Simone. Anyway, long story short, I took an Uber home, and <laughs> finished the rest of my bike, uh, my bike ride on the trainer. I switched out my wheels, my training wheels for Simone and got it done. But that's definitely one of the bummers about uh, sending Simone out early is that now I'm on this other bike and the field's a little bit different and it's just, 
it's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. And as long as I keep my legs moving the next week, um, hopefully we'll move in the right direction. Otherwise, um, swimming, I feel like I had like kind of some good workouts with swimming this week. I had one that, that felt great um, just because I was upset that I couldn't quite crack my numbers and it was just like threw my form out the window and just hustled down the lane um, and got it done. And unfortunately our pool, I belong to this Porter Valley Country Club and the only reason why we belong there is because of this pool because I wanted like total access to a good pool and not have to worry about crowds. And it's super murky right now. Apparently it's safe, the chemicals are fine, but it's like crazy murky and annoying and difficult to see. Which is not the end of the world. I mean, yes, I have a pool and that's awesome and I should be thrilled about that, but it makes things a little more challenging. Um, it certainly isn't helpful, but whatever. It is what it is, it's fine. So my swimming this week was like kind of okay. I swam in the ocean last weekend and the first like 10 minutes or so were jostling and, and, and felt a little uncomfortable. But then I felt great and, and there's really nothing like swimming in the ocean, it's just awesome. Um, I'm completely petrified about the swim in Kona because I know it's gonna be hard, it's non-wetsuit and it's just gonna be very challenging. Um, I hope I stay on course. <laughs> I just wanna be around people, like be in a little pod of people and just go and get on to Simone as soon as possible. Anyway. Um, so today it's Friday. I'm gonna try to post these every Friday. I think that's a pretty good schedule to follow. So I'll post my blog every Tuesday and these videos every Friday. Um, just to kind of, especially up until Conan the week after. I think that'll be kind of fun and sort of a good schedule to keep, but we'll see. Uh, so this weekend I have a pretty mellow day today, which is nice. Tomorrow I have some, I'm going back in the ocean and a little ride, a little run. Sunday, have a fun run plan, which I'm pumped about. And next week, not sure. We're, um, we're kind of getting into the somewhat close to taper phase, but I'm honestly not looking forward to that. I'd really, I love these long days. They're really fun, but ob obviously I need to transition here soon. Uh, anyway, I really hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for tuning in. You're awesome. And uh, see you next week.